glorious sound, that V8. And I love how on the upshifts, you get that crack. There's nothing like a naturally aspirated, American-made V8. Oh, it puts such a smile on your face. All right, listen to this, guys. Listen to this. <laughs> that naturally aspirated 6.2 liter V8 sounds amazing. And since this has the Z51 package, this has five more horsepower than the standard Corvette. So 495 horsepower, 470 foot-pounds of torque. Oh, it only revs up to 6,000 RPM, so it's not a high revving V8 motor. It's, a, it's got a lot of grunt, but boy, it sounds amazing. In a way, it sounds kind of old school hot rod, but yet you're surrounded by all this modernity, all this modern materials, all this modern high technology. It's a real contrast here. And speaking of high tech, the Magna ride on this car is incredible. I'm in sport mode and I'm not on one of the best, I'm not on one of the smoothest roads here. And it, the Magna ride just soaks up all those bumps and keeps the car incredibly comfortable even though I'm in sport mode. So I have the handling and the sharpness of the steering. This dual clutch transmission in sport shifts quicker. The throttle response is sharper. So all of those things are happening, but yet the ride is so compelling client you know it's so nice it's nice you can tell that this car is made for grand touring first and with an interior like this it's fighter jet design with very aggressive lines on the interior but all the materials feel really nice to the touch this suede material on the steering wheel feels really good and yes it's a little weird this big wall here but of course you know this central tunnel is here to really create a stiff stiff chassis so they put all the bracing in the middle of the car like a backbone as opposed to on the sides you don't have really high sills to contend with when you're getting in and out of the car. All of that bracing is right here in the middle. So yes, you do feel like you're really compartmentalized in the driver's seat, but it actually feels kind of great as the driver. You really have everything around you and easily at your fingertips. Everything's curved right towards you. And as far as the drive itself, which gives you that nimbleness and maneuverability. All that weight is in the middle, actually a 60% rear bias. Uh, that makes the front end lighter, it makes the front end more nimble. This has staggered wheels, so 19 inch in front, 245, 35s in the front. In the rear, big 305, 30s in the back that are 20 inch diameter. So staggered wheel set. Because it has the Z51 package, bigger brakes than the standard Corvette, 13.6 inch rotors in the front, 13.8 inch rotors in the back, developed by Brembo, all around four piston calipers. This performance package also comes with a heavy duty cooling system, so it's ready for track use. Because it has a Z51 package, it has a shorter final drive ratio for this eight speed dual clutch Tremec automatic that you control with manual paddles. And this combination is makes just for a fun, fun driver's car. Now I have it set in my own personal settings. So I've made the steering sharp. I've made the throttle response sharp. I've made the exhaust loud, but I have the suspension kind of in its middle setting so that it can really uh, handle these country roads with lots of bumps. There's so much grip that this car has. Oh, it feels so good. Make special mention of this Magna ride. The magnetic ride control of this car with these adaptive dampers is really one of the big stars of this show. The ride is incredible, yet there's ultimate control and grip. It keeps the car incredibly flat through the turns, just adapts to the road service, no problem. The suspension just glides right over the road surface but keeps the tire in constant contact. Michelin Pilot Sport 4S tires, you've got ample grip to keep the car in complete control and instills real confidence. It's very capable, but it's more on the GT side to me. You know, even though the V8 engine is incredibly thrilling and loud and boisterous. is this grand touring side of this car. Maybe it's because of how smooth the magnetic ride control is. This dual clutch transmission is very, 
very good. And this is coming from someone who owns the Porsche PDK transmission, which arguably is the best dual clutch transmission out there. This Trim 8B dual clutch transmission comes very, very close to eclipsing the Porsche PDK transmission. It just maybe not as sharp as the PDK in its logic and its shifts, but it's very, very close. Let's get back it down into touring since we're behind a car here, just enjoying the environment. There's something so special about open top driving. And as soon as I went into touring mode, I could feel that the steering wheel has much more play in, in it versus in sport mode. Uh, the throttle response is much slower, of course, and it's just a more of a relaxed ride. And I could see, as comfortable as this car is, you know, with the top up, get on the highway, drive across the country, no problem in this car. This car is a great grand tour if you want to use it as such. And my thought is, this is a really well done car. Is it the most exciting? I can't say it's the most thrilling because I just drove the 718 Spider, much smaller package than this, flat six engine, enhanced by the motorsport division of Porsche. And that car really felt like it was up on its toes and excited at all times. It's default throttle steering and suspension mode was in sport. And then you can go even uh, higher than that. And therefore it felt excited all the time. This car is not like that. This car is much more relaxed in its power delivery, in its throttle response, and its handling characteristics. It's not go out and attack the country road feeling like the Porsche 718 Spider uh, is. It's much more of a grand tour than that. Much more comfortable, honestly, than the 718 Spider. So it has a different personality. Does that mean that this car is boring? Not at all. It's just, it's more of an all around sports car. It's not as dedicated as a 718 Spider. And what that tells me is that Chevrolet has left room for the Z06. So the Z06 will be that sharp edged knife, you know, that track performer. So this car and this setup, even with the Z51 package, it's kind of like a 911. I have a 911 GTS, but I think this car is more comfortable than my 911 GTS. This is a very well-rounded vehicle. You can grand tour in this car, be super comfortably and relax in this car, but that's not taking anything off of the capabilities of this car. Very, very capable in the turns. You can have a lot of fun on some twisty backcountry roads. And you've got that glorious sounding V8 behind you and has all the handling that you could want, leaving room for the sharper edge Z06 to come. All right guys, so let's take a look inside of this Corvette C8. And I have to say, there's a lot of I'm mixed feelings about this for me, honestly. On the upside, everything feels like it's quality made. Everything is really directed and canted towards the driver, which to me is great. Again, this square steering wheel is a little weird for me. So you kind of get used to it, but when you're turning and you have to do hand over hand, it's a little weird. But it does give you a clear shot into the dashboard, no obstructions. And you have these big, lovely metallic uh, paddles here, and they're so big, which is great to grab a hold of when you want to shift manually. There are buttons on the steering wheel, highlighted by the Z button, which is for accessing a uh, high performance mode right on the fly just by hitting that button. And they named it the Z button, most likely after Zora Arcus Duntoff, who was really a champion of the Corvette project at its beginning. And since he was a engineer as well as a race car driver, he really promoted Corvette to be a high performing halo car for Chevrolet. And he was always pushing performance. He also was a big proponent of the mid-engine Corvette. He knew and saw the benefits of mid-engine platform. Here is his dream realized with this C8 Corvette with a mid-engine. And I think that's kind of a nice nod to him by making the high performance mode a quick key called the Z button. Leather color covered surfaces, deviated stitching everywhere. This is a suede like material here that has wonderful stitching all around. I love the center uh, marker here in leather. It really feels like a premium place to be in here. And, I, and 
it's a super bold design. So I'm not sure that, that this design is for everyone. Chevrolet people said that the styling of the Corvette C8 was inspired by fighter jets. And this certainly gives you that fighter jet mentality, all of the swooping lines that lead forward towards the head up display uh, and everything canted towards the driver, almost like you're the pilot, which you literally are. One of the biggest features is the center tunnel here. They knew that the C8 was going to be a, a convertible right from the beginning. So they wanted to make sure they had structural stiffness in the car right from the beginning. So instead of adding more bracing to the sides, they put it all down the middle, which is part of the reason why this tunnel is so huge. And the designers made a virtue of this big tunnel by putting all of the HVAC controls down the side of this tunnel. And the seats feel fantastic. These are the GT2 seats, which are fitted with these uh, suede material as well as leather material here. And they are very comfortable. Although I, for such a low car, I do feel like I'm sitting a little high, but the seats themselves are very comfortable and very adjustable. These GT2 seats are the middle level seats. There is an even higher level seat that has even more aggressive bolstering, perhaps best used if you know you're gonna be doing a lot of track work. Those are the GT3 seats. But these are the GT2s, heated, cooled, and they feel great. I applaud Corvette for taking a risk, being bold, and making a statement with this car. I think, I think that's to be celebrated. Because I think so many cars become vanilla. You know what I mean? And this is not vanilla. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed my impressions of the Corvette C8. It's great that it's a hard top convertible. It would be the way I would order this C8. And again, the Z51 performance package I think is a must have. And you've got to save and treasure these naturally aspirated V8 engines. They're becoming such a rarity. So with that, please leave comments in the comments box below about what you think of the Corvette C8. If you like this video, please hit like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Safe driving, everybody. I think we're gonna drive this again.